The Nigeria Centre for Disease Control, NCDC, on Monday confirmed 229 new cases of coronavirus in the country, bringing the total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases to 8,068. The NCDC made this known on Monday night. It also said that 90 of the new infections were recorded in Lagos, Katsina 27, Emo 26, Kanu 23, FCT 14, Plateau 12, Ogun 9, Delta 7, Bornu and Rivers 5 apiece, Oyo 4, Gombe 3, Osho 2, Anambra and Bielsa 1 each. Joining us live is Dr. Stella Ogunkeyede, consultant public health physician. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Okay, so you were saying you were trying to express your thought on how we can do adaptive living with the COVID-19 virus amongst us that is effective um, in containing its spread. Could you conclude your thought on it? Okay, what I was saying was that um, I think the um, testing is a good thing that there's the more, more testing in order to identify more cases. So when there are more testing being done, we'll be able to, we'll be able to identify more cases and think it's a good thing. So some of the um, figures that are increasing in some states may be due to increased testing. Okay, um, after the easing of the... Okay, let's go back to the lifestyle. What should we begin to get used to in terms of healthy living as Nigerians go about their daily business? Okay, considering the fact that the virus, um, as, like from what we've observed, it's like the virus is kind of here to take it sometimes. We don't know when it's going. And um, even the lockdown is also a good thing because we can't afford... Um, to just stay at home. But it's important that um, people, the lifestyle that people must adapt, they must be able to um, carry out the, the guidelines that we have by the NCDC, maintaining social distancing and um, washing their hands, and then avoiding crowded areas. When you're going to a crowded area, you should be able to uh, put on your face mask and um, ensure that if you have any symptoms, you don't go to crowded areas, or you um, and the problem now is most of uh, some cases are not even symptomatic. So you're not sure of the next person that is um, standing next to you, the person actually has the COVID-19. So the lifestyle that we should adapt should be more preventive, and it's important that people should be able to adhere to these guidelines. Um, since the easing of the lockdown, it's been observed that Nigerians have continued life as usual, especially when you go to the rural communities. What can be done, in your opinion, to keep the seriousness of the COVID-19 and the consciousness of Nigerians such that it will find expressions naturally in their daily dealings? Yes, what's important for the um, healthcare personnel, especially those with public health, is is to um, carry out um, this communication and community engagement. This just involves going to the community, trying to locate the key persons of the community, like the community leaders and the head of most and the associations in the community. When you reach across and reach to them, they will be able to tell the people in the community that the COVID-19 is actually real. And also, um, people that have actually gone to their isolation centers and have come back, that have been... Um, have been confirmed to be negative. They could also come out to tell their stories of what is going to happen. People know this, this virus is very real. Some persons are saying that um, and it's not real and all that. Maybe the symptoms that we have in Nigeria may not be as severe because you have uh, mild, moderate, and severe symptoms. So we, um, the, the people in the community, they, we need to create what they do on the good. And what um, messages are being sent by the NCDC is also good. So this is a way of um, getting across to people to ensure that the lifestyle that they keep is in keeping with the fact of um, preventing the COVID-19 from spreading further. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Your time is appreciated. Thank you, too.